Right, so here I have two new motors from RC in Power. Uh, these have uh, recently been released. This one is the GTS 2306 V2, 1800 kV and 2500 kV. There's also a 2750 kV version. I only got these two, so that should be enough to get a good sense of what this motor can do. Uh, this was were sent in by RC in Power, so thank you uh, RC in Power for sending the motors for testing so I can uh, put them through the usual tests, get some numbers, and share the results uh, with you guys. Uh, so thanks RC and Power for that. Uh, as usual, they, they come in these cardboard boxes and they usually use uh, thick, dense uh, foam for packaging, for protection. So that's what that is. So very well protected uh, and pretty minimal stuff, just four M3 by six, it looks like, uh, screws and the more it's off with the standard aluminum night lock pretty nice color coded wires match the color there this come in two colors uh, red and titanium uh, and you can uh, pick whichever color you want for any of the kvs uh, this was the 2500 kv and this is the 1800 kv so as you can see brand new design from rc in power looks like they finally went to uh, naked bottom I, I believe this is the first motor they released with the naked bottom uh, base uh, let's look at the pattern here uh, it looks like that's a 16 by 16 mount pattern and nice and big shaft retaining screw right there looks like that's a two millimeter allen right there so that's good it should be easy to remove they don't really have that much uh, description as to what kind of materials they're using i was trying to find something on the websites but uh, they don't list uh, what type of aluminum or material on the shaft so um, but for the most part, uh, RC and Power have been making motors for quite some time and they're, uh, they're pretty well made motors. So I'm not sure what kind of material is used for the bell cap or base. I mean, what kind of aluminum, if it's 6061 or 7075. There's not much information as uh, to those specs uh, on the RC and Power website or at any of the vendors they just have the basic information and also the shaft i don't know what uh, type of material it sure looks like it's just standard stainless steel hardened steel but that's something that they should really improve because uh, i mean if they're using premium materials they need to advertise that but other than that uh, rc power has been making motors for quite some time and they're usually very well made motors uh, they've used 6061 aluminum in the older motors, uh, so that's you know a little bit soft uh, aluminum. Most motors uh, these days are 7075, so hopefully that's the material used here. All new design for this motor, three spoke, kind of three spoke pattern, arc magnets and single strand wire. And all right, so let's get some weights on this motor. And these come with a fairly long wire this wire is roughly about 150 millimeters of wire and uh, this is 16 gauge wire so let's uh, get a weight with 150 millimeters of wire on the 2306 kV motor uh, so that's 36.3 with uh, that much wire so if we cut the wire to 50 millimeters we'll be getting rid of that much wire 16 gauge wire is pretty thick kind of heavy so let's see what that comes up to and uh, that's 3.3.4 uh, grams so almost three and a half grams that's quite heavy so let's tear that uh, so with 50 millimeters worth of wire uh, and uh, that's still that's still 150 millimeters of uh, thick 16 millimeter wires so that kind of makes the motor seem a little bit heavier so, so that's 33 grams 
So if they were to have thinner wire like 18 gauge or even 20 gauge, uh, this would probably be around maybe 32 grams. Maybe that's another gram or half a gram off. So, so 33 grams uh, with that thick wires. It's kind of pretty decent weight. It's not the lightest, but it's not that heavy either considering the wire they're using. Uh, so that's not too bad weight, uh, pretty decent I think. Uh, let's see how easy it is to um, remove that screw. Hopefully they didn't use uh, that uh, white stuff. It's kind of hard to remove. I, I'm not. I haven't heat, heated this up. I may have to heat it up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's tight, but uh, because of the two millimeter screw it's not that bad to remove I can feel the the thread lock there but with the good allen key it should be easy to remove yeah they're using that white uh, thread lock uh, so that one's uh, that one gets pretty stuck in there so so I can see the shaft is is hollow all the way through and uh, there's no bronze washer there so so let's see how easy it is to pull this out ah uh, yeah that's tight in there that's gonna be hard to uh, difficult to remove so I'll have to get a prop here and attach this to, uh, to one arm or something that I can pull it so I'll do that off camera I'll be right back Alright, so here's the belt taken apart and uh, something interesting is that the shaft is actually threaded for M3 screws so that's a pretty beefy screw to use for the shaft retaining screw uh, that makes it easy to take out and to replace uh, these are more common more readily available uh, screws so, so that's kind of a, a good thing I think easy to remove and easy to replace in case you lose it and they do have a, a thread lock the white one but because it's such a large screw it's easy to remove you don't have to heat it up and uh, there's the shaft fully hollow uh, nicely keyed in there so that should be pretty uh, pretty well coupled there to the bell and uh, uh, there's a lip on the ring right here so that should help retain the uh, magnets uh, magnets are arc magnets I would imagine those are N52 magnets though as I mentioned there's no specs on those on the websites uh, other than that as you can see there hardly any balancing mud so must be a really good uh, machining process they have there over at RC and power and here's the stator also as you can see you as usual from RC and power nicely uh, wound uh, nice and neat uh, windings there and the bearing is a good bearing that's a good size 4 by 9 by 4 Arsene Power usually uses a uh, good quality bearings, so I would imagine those are a good quality and MB probably or NSK. Again, no mention on on the uh, uh, type of bearing used, the brand of bearing anyway. And let's have a measurement on the stator itself. Uh, looks like 0.15 lamination, so it's got all the you know all the latest bells and whistles. Uh, on this motor so let's let's see what the height of the stator is uh, so the stator is six millimeters right on the dot uh, so nominal six millimeters no surprises there so that's good so it's a 2306 and uh, nicely con constructed as usual nicely built from RC and power uh, so the only left thing to do is to put this through some good uh, torture and abuse. I'm sure you guys will do that and we'll get some uh, reports as to the durability of the motor. 
Overall it looks like a very well built, nice and solid, but not until we get it through some good abuse we'll know for sure. But usually our steam power makes a, a pretty strong motor, so, uh, so we'll uh, put this back in. I'll add a little bit of a uh, thread lock. I, after I disassemble, I uh, usually try to use uh, some purple thread lock. So that one's low strength. You could use the blue one, especially on this one because it's such a large screw. Uh, the blue one would also be okay. Shouldn't be that hard to remove. It's with the small screws that you have to be careful with the thread lock. If you use the really strong thread lock, then uh, then it'll be hard to remove. So let's uh, put this back together and we'll get it on the thrust stand and see what this can do. So let's look at the thrust test results for the new motor from RC and Power. This one's the GTS 2306 V2 2500 kV. Measure right at 2500 kV on the thrust stand, exactly the same as advertised. Uh, so for that kV, uh, 4S and 5S was uh, what I uh, tested it with. Uh, the usual props starting with the 2 blade 5 inch uh, just for base reference close to 1400 so that's uh, well within the performance of other 2306 motors of the same kV so pretty much acro across the board this motor is performing uh, on the same level as other motors of the same stator size and kV so it's quite good I think for the size and kV value it's not overperforming or underperforming so you can I mean I've tested so many other motors uh, so it's kind of hard to compare it against one, but if you follow the test, you can go back and check uh, all the other 2306s with the same KV, and you'll see that this one's pretty much about the same. It's average performance. Average, but solid. I mean, I'm comparing it to other premium motors that I've tested, of course. So on the 5-inch 3-blade props, on 4S, it's uh, between 14 and 1500 kV. That's pretty respectable. And the maximum amps are quite reasonable as well. So remember that these are burst amps. So in the air, it's going to be quite a lot lower, anywhere from 35 to 40 percent lower. I always mention this so people don't get confused. These are max burst amps. Uh, you only see these high amp numbers on the thrust stand because uh, we're running static 
thrust here in the air as the props on load of course so there's gonna be less load on the motor so I usually say about 35 to 40 percent and that's still gonna be max burst amp so it's only gonna be visible only for a couple of seconds and then it'll taper down also depending on the weight and the type of battery you use of course so overall very good performance out of this motor i think as you can see also tested on five and a half and six inch of course the thrust increases also the amps but still quite reasonable so 51 amps here remember that when you multiply times 0 0.6 or 0 0.65 this is right around 30 amps or so and that's max burst so you can run this with a 30 amp psc no problem so overall solid performance out of this new motor from rc in power so it should be a good choice for freestyle so only thing that we yet don't know is durability and after some abuse uh, hopefully this motor remains quite uh, solid but that's still to be seen of course the motor's new so we have to get reports from uh, people using it all right uh, so that's the test results for the rc empower gts 2306 v2 once again i want to thank uh, rc empower for supplying the motor for testing and i'll be testing the lower kv version of this motor so thank you for watching and until the next video